Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from the Skill Builder channel. And I'm Robin Clevett. And Robin's been building this fantastic garden room. From start to finish, you can watch the whole series in association with Milwaukee Power Tools. See every stage from those muddy foundations yeah. all the way through to the roof and the lovely oak cladding, including the interiors, is that right? And the interiors, and I've been really lucky because Roger's been out on site, he's been giving me a hand, he's been overseeing things with me, and we've had a bit of a laugh as well along the way. <laughs> and doing a bit of wobbly camera work for you. Well, how about that, eh? Okay, and if you're not a subscriber, become a subscriber, press that little bell up in the right-hand corner, and you'll get notification as we put each episode on. So join us and keep watching. Oh yeah, the big screw. Yeah, they're an amazing bit of kit and they eliminate the need for all that expensive concrete. And the good thing about this is much, much better for the environment. Yeah, but also being clay, they're not subject to the same problem. You'd have to pile quite deep, wouldn't you, with concrete or you'd have to put in reinforced foundation. Definitely, and you can see there's a tree root there. Well, we took yeah. five trees out here. That was the biggest Blimey. one. And what well, the beauty of this is, these guys can actually send a, um, a, a signal down and virtually find where the roots are. Oh. Then they do their pilot hole and that enables them to position their screws. Yeah. Every it's... now and then you're gonna get one which is gonna go in the wrong place, but you just have to work around it. I've got to say, I fear for his back doing that all day long. Yeah, you can drill. see how strong yeah, look. he looks. Yeah, yeah. So there's one fixed. That's in. And they, they laser it all through. Oh, here's a lorry yeah. arriving. I remember this. Yeah, well. we've managed to shoehorn that in, didn't we? And they've loaded it with a forklift stroke telehandler and they've trapped his crane. Yeah, just got around that gate. Double front wheels turning, yeah? Then we had a double axle. The crane was trapped. So, we've got a little bit of a problem. Lorry arrives, beautiful, crane on board, no problem, but the crane is trapped by these beams. So, we've had to enlist the help of a good friend of mine, Graham, who has got a telehandler, fortunately, less than half a mile away. The lorry driver stayed overnight, been minus three, but he's got a nice warm cab. So we're gonna have to get on with it now and catch up some time. So what's the chances of having a bloke down the road? <coughs> I know, he's a good mate of mine. And With a telly loader. Kind enough to, um, yeah, send his telly hand around, which was amazing. Yeah, that's him driving it, isn't it? That's one of his chaps, yeah. Oh, it's not him. Yeah, that's no, his mechanic. Not the boss, okay, yeah. So yeah, that was really kind of him. Yeah. You've just got to find a way, done. haven't you? Well, you have, but I mean, I know we were considering sliding them off on timbers. It, you know, it would have been a nightmare, wouldn't it? Yeah, it was really these three big glue lamps there, which yeah. were just too big to handle, really. Yeah. That's why we have a crane there. You can see the size of them. Yeah. I know, I lifted them. I know. <laughs> and it was handy being able to crane them packs off right close by to where we needed them. Here we go. That's you, flexing your muscles muscle only the one yeah but it worked out okay if you think that that crane came the night before to deliver it and he couldn't so the next day he was delivering while we were actually fitting which actually probably saved us a bit of yeah it's quite nice isn't it just, just load them off as he went it's amazing what you can do now with the old high abs and living yeah and take that and also what we're looking at here battery drills to do something as substantial as that yeah, yeah, winding in those big yeah. fasten masters. You know, there wasn't many corded drills that used to be able to cable cope with that. So here you are. The trick here is, of course, to get this absolutely set out precisely so you're not having to shim up the yeah. walls or That's having right. square and level yeah. and upright. Yeah? And so you're screwing those directly in the centre of those joints for us to then knock it left and right. So yeah. it's, it's, it's sort of going to aid it in movement before we put like another one in. So just that oversight there, that is basically what you've done is you put the, the type one, but you've got a membrane underneath yeah, the weed just, barrier and all the yeah, rest of it, yeah. and the drainage around the edge, yeah? Yeah. So you've got your airspace underneath. And, yeah, uh, and then we, we're having a ventilated cladding at the bottom. Oh, under, are you? Underneath the oak, yeah. Okay, yeah. Keep which the is, rodents out. Yeah, which is actually plastic, so it doesn't rot. If I don't keep people on their toes, no one learns anything. <laughs> Lots of carrying, lumping around. And even the ground conditions were a bit better then. That was all right, this is the good bit. 
Yeah, it went in incredibly well, actually. We had hardly any shimming to do. Then we brought these floor cassettes in. This is the eco joist made up into cassettes with a bit of, what, fireproof stuff underneath, yeah? Yeah, it's called, um, that particular product we used underneath there, it was called Magply, and it's got a really high resistance to moisture, water, so and fire. my walkie hammer there, look. Yeah. You I mean, didn't know whack. about that, did you? You went, where's my s -wing? <laughs> and then using like a spat Wirox screw. Yeah. You love your spats, don't yeah. you? Yeah. In a, in a riser box. But these telescopic cranes are really handy. They're just like a massive, a massive high ab. Mm. And they can reach, some of them can reach 20 meters. They can reach the parts other cranes can't reach. Yeah. Especially when you've got a lot of low trees, because these can post the stuff in mm, as opposed to trying right, to yeah. jib up all the way. There'll come a day, mate, you'll be able to lie in bed and do all this remotely. Absolutely. With an app. Yeah, they were actually a bit lighter than I thought they'd be because, as you see, we could only get them as far as here, so then we had to yeah. manhandle them. But across. it still saved a lot of work, didn't it? It did. Because they're already in the right orientation, aren't they? So, yeah. and the other thing was incredible the engineering when you consider when they produced all these and we're stacking them all together. There wasn't even a hair between, it wasn't the, last, actually. No, yeah. between the last panel. In fact, we had to give it a little bit of a knock. All numbered up, Robin. Yeah, so e every single a... element was numbered on the whole job. Yeah. I mean, we have the services coming up, so we had to make those holes through that mag ply. This is why we've got all these hole cutters here. So there's a bit of fiddling around to do. And what we've done... Well, it's either that, or you've got to send somebody, like a small child underneath, <laughs> crawl underneath. Yeah. And what we've actually done inside now is where they came through that magpie is we actually knocked some lean mix up fairly dry, and we actually virtually put a bit of encasing around so no rodents came through. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I like it, I like your little sideways step. <laughs> <laughs> now this, the digital level, yeah? Yeah, it proved really handy actually, because um, you could look, you could virtually have it on the middle of there with the audible on. So this is us just getting this last cassette in, the tight one. That is it, yeah. I said if a butterfly landed on it, it would have jammed, wouldn't it? Yeah. It was, it was that tight, yeah. really. Yeah, it's good though. Nice when it comes together. Yeah, precision engineering. And they gave you a laminated pan. Did they laminate that pan? They well, laminate all the pans. That's plans. good, I like that. Because you see bits of paper blowing around in the, the wind and the rain. And then we're just doing the final bit of shimming and adjusting, getting the levels exactly as we want them. So what were those those screw piles? They were good to, what, a couple of mil? Were they all what? Yeah, they were within three or four mil of each other. Yeah, so just that last bit. Yeah, they were very accurate to be fair. Yeah. As accurate as any other kind of foundation, in fact, probably yeah. more accurate than yeah, concrete. Yeah. You expect a little bit of given. But I still think, you know, the way you go about it with the timber framing is that you have to make sure that every single bit is spot on mm. and then you're not, you haven't got gaps opening up on yeah. the walls and all the rest of it, have you? Yeah, it's really key that, Roger, about just making sure you're setting everything out perfectly, spend a bit of time on that. Yeah, don't rush it, don't, don't get too impatient to get the walls up because you get a lot of work later. Absolutely. Shimming and... So these are the perimeter noggins we're putting in and we will sit the panels on there so the panels have got full support and also that it's solid. So don't forget, come back and see us. Robin's gonna carry on with that build and I'm gonna carry on filming it. And uh, it really does, oh sorry, we'll do that again. So don't forget to come back, see the next episode of The Garden Room. Yeah, it's been an enjoyable job so far, but the weather is against us. It's the 
winter, so you know what it's all about. It's all about rain, mud, mud, and more mud. And of course, garden rooms are very popular these days. Everybody's after one, aren't they, for a, an office or a gym or goodness knows what. They, yeah. they are. I, I probably do at least two a year. Yeah, for, you for could people. actually make a business just doing those and nothing else, really, couldn't you? You There's could. enough work out there. Absolutely.